when you see this type of question, the nearest thing that can come to the mind of anybody is this law of indices. A raised to the power m over n equal to, you have A here, you have n here, then you have m. This is a law of indices. If you apply this law here, we we'll have something of this nature. Then 9 will be here, 4 will be here, and then we have 3 here. And when you do that, you can find the answer in the option. Then, so this can give us the answer in the option. Then let's try another way. Then if you have 9 here, you know 9 is 3 raised to the power 2. And it has raised to the power 3 over 4. 2 can divide itself, it gives you 1. And 2 can divide this 1, you have 2. And what we have here now is 3 raised to the power 3 over 2. Then if we apply this law here, if we apply this law, we can now have something of this nature. The square root of 3 raised to power 3. I will write the 2 here because this square root means 2. Then, this is what we have here. And you can see that this thing, you can find the answer here in the option. So, whenever you go, you will not find the answer in the option. So, what do we do again? Let's see how we can break down this, part, this, this one now. So, this is equal to, you know that 3 is 2 plus 1. So, you can now have something of this nature. Square root of 3 raised to the power 2 times square root of 3 raised to the power 1. Why did I do it like this? The same basis. Then, multiplication, you add the exponent, it gives you back this. So, this one is equal to this one. Then, if we continue, the square of square root of this, you know the normal thing we do here. What we have here now is 3 times root 3. And 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3. Then let's check. 3 root 3 is in the option. That's option D. So that's how we got the answer. Thanks for watching and see my next video.